In this video, we're going to talk about the expected value of a discrete random variable. So the expected value of a discrete random variable is the following. E of x, where x is capital X, that equals to the sum of the probability times x, where x is the random variable and E of x is the expected value, which provides the population mean mu. In other words, the expected value is a weighted average of all possible values. Keyword, expected value is a population mean. What that means is that if you have a system that's been running for a long time, you want to know overall what the average is. And this formula does that for you. Now it says random variable. You study that a little bit in probabilities in a stats class, but a random variable is a variable with a single value determined by chance. It's usually used in probability distribution tables, which we're going to create one right now. So let's say you have a die and you want to know um, what the population mean of tossing a die. You might have done something like this in your probability course. Now, first we need to figure out what the random variable is. In this case, it's going to be rolling a die. Now, if you don't, if, you, if you're uncomfortable with doing probabilities, don't worry. This is not going to be very hard. The idea is the vocabulary, which helps you eventually understanding the formula a little bit. Okay, so keep with me. What I want to do is I want to create a table. It's called a probability distribution table. And this table, uh, what it does, it, it uh, models my tossing of a die. Okay. And when we talk about random variables and these, what we're doing is we're, we're talking about the outcomes, all the possible outcomes of tossing a die. Well, a die has six sides and they have dots on each side, right? One through six. So those are going to be my outcomes, one through six. In this probability distribution table, we also have something, uh, uh, we also have the probability for each outcome. And the probability in this case, one key uh, factor in determining the probability is that each side of the die has an equal chance of appearing. That is key because I'm telling you that the die is a fair die. So for the outcome of one, if I toss a die and I get a one, what's the probability? Well, there's only one dot on one side of six. So the probability would be one out of six. Same thing with two. What's the probability of getting a two? That would be also one out of six because it only appears once out of six sides. What's the probability of three? One over six. What's the probability of four? One over six. What's the probability of five? One over six. What's the probability of six? Get, of, of, of tossing a six? It's going to be one over six. So you notice that when you add all the probabilities, it gives you one, which is one of the def definitions of a probability distribution. Okay. So now we want to know what the mean is. And to calculate that, we can easily use the expected value formula. So again, the expected value formula is used when you have a probability distribution table or you have a system that you know has been running for a long time and overall you want to know what the overall average will be. Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to sum the probabilities times the outcomes. So we're going to take our first outcome, 1, times the probability, 1 over 6. Take the outcome of 2 times 1 over 6. Take the outcome of 3 times 1 over 6, and so forth. Next thing I want to do is I want to multiply 
1 times 1 over 6 gives you 1 over 6. 2 times 1 over 6 is 2 over 6. 3 times 1 over 6 is 3 over 6, and so forth. And then what do you do? You just add the tops, and then you keep the bottom. And in this case, we get 21 over 6, which is 3.5. This tells us that on average, when you're tossing a die, you're going to get a value of 3.5 for each toss.